Project Budburst is named for the magical time in spring when the plants start to show signs of life after a long winter. Despite the springtime focus in the project's name, observations of plant life can be submitted year-round. The Chicago Botanical Garden took on the project in 2017. They developed a website for individuals or groups, such as classrooms, to submit their observations through a fairly straightforward process. You'll need to visit their website and sign up as an individual or for a group project. You can even set up an account for a classroom to allow students to safely enter information. The next step is to find a plant, tree, or shrub that is easily accessible to you. This could be a plant near your home, school, place of work, some place that you often go by. If Budburst doesn't have the species of plant in their database, you can add it and report your observations. An easy plant to start with is something very common, like a dandelion. This is a great option if you don't have a lot of natural spaces around. Dandelions are known to pop up just about anywhere and they're pretty easy to identify. This project also has some flexibility in how often you make observations. You may check in weekly until a plant starts developing leaves or buds and then need to check it more frequently once growth is visible. This map shows all the dandelions documented through the project. And as you zoom in, you can narrow down specific locations. There is a lot of opportunity to continue adding to this map. Plants are the foundation of almost all food webs, including ours. When they leaf out, bloom, bear fruits, all impacts us and non-human animals. If this starts changing, it impacts everything that depends on them. Project Bud Burst is an opportunity for people like you and I to help professional scientists all over the world track these changes. Our observations and data have the power to help.